Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron here. We're going to look today at Perspectives Magazine. This is, at least by many counts, the most widely distributed apostolic magazine in all the world. And one reason is it's kind of trans-organizational. It's not just the UPC, it's ALJC, it's uh, PAW, it's WPF, it's Independence, it's uh, some other organizations out there as well. So they all get that. This is a ministry of Indiana Bible College, IBC Perspectives Magazine. And uh, I'll just tell you a little bit of the basic format. It's always got great graphics in here. But you're always going to have like a little first word section where Brother Mooney is going to be in various poses. And it, it's scripture. It's things from his heart. It's going to be about current society, the state of the church, uh, state of the world, spiritual things, that type thing. So that's just really good. Then they always include six or eight ministers. They'll have like a Q&A. Like they'll ask six or eight ministers a particular question and then have their opinion. So it's an opinion section, which that's always good. Ministering to the emotionally and mentally challenged. And, uh, and it's not always, you know, they don't just recycle all your saying big name preachers, camp preachers and all this. They just try to get guys from all over the country, cross section, white, black, Asian, Hispanic, uh, various parts of the country, no axe to grind. And then they always feature a church. And they look at what's going right at that church, uh, how that church does ministry, how they do guest follow-up. Uh, they'll interview the pastor, the future plans for growth. And it's really good reading, and, and you really realize that different parts of the country, different things work. But always it's the gospel that's the true work. But, uh, you know, and so people can just kind of get what they're doing. And then why it's important news you can use, why it's important to deliver a sermon without relying on notes, pure religion. Down there, that's from Tupelo Children's Mansion. Some more advertisement. How to reach men. This is one. From Marcus, excuse me, from Rufus Parker, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Then they'll have an apostolic calendar, which I need to get them to update, put some of our stuff on there, but that's beside the point. And then some different instructors at IBC will answer questions, commonly, you know, questions they commonly receive and that type of thing. And that's really good. So it's a real interactive magazine. And North American Missions took out a two-page ad here. Um, it has everything. That was theology, law. This will be IRS questions, jail ministry questions, spiritual growth questions, accounting and tax questions here. Some more world news. Like it has Michio Kaku believes in God now, which that's a cool thing. Some more things advertising Indiana Bible College. And then it'll, a sermon that they heard. They'll transpose the major parts of a sermon. So the guest pulpit this time, it is a Chris and Allison Barber does the guest pulpit. And then some more like uh, apostolics that are coming out with books or that have different ministries like Letters to the Seven Churches. new book that's out. And then one of the favorite sections, the joke section. And this is apostolic, the guy that, that draws this. And so it's really original. The joke section is just absolutely fantastic. And uh, then some other ads. Perspectives Magazine going good after I think it started in 1989. So what's that? 27 years. Brother Tim Massengale heads this thing up. Doing great. It is an encouraging magazine. I, I think if you just send them an offering of inter, any size, you can get on their mailing list, a dollar, two dollars, whatever. And uh, because it's kind of a, a faith ministry. So God bless. Let's keep living for Jesus Christ.